Hey, what's going on, Aries? Butch Tarot here. I am going to do your one week read. It is a general read, so it may not resonate with everyone. Uh, it is for your sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. For all you cross watchers, roles can be reversed. Always feel free to comment down below. With all that being said, let's get it. Universe, what do you have for Aries? All right, Aries. So the first thing I see Aries is I, is I feel like, I feel like there's been someone, there is someone in your life and I feel like this is someone, I feel like this, this is not someone new. I feel like this is someone that I, I feel like when you're around this person, you feel like there's something more. There's something that's not being said. There's a lot of energy between the two of you. You know, I feel like your intuition is telling you. I feel like it's almost to the point where it's screaming at you. There's something more here. You know, I, I feel like you, I feel like there's been a lot of interest both ways, but I feel like it's never really came of, you know, nothing's really came of it yet. But it's almost like when, you, when you're around each other, it's almost like you can just feel the heat. And it's to the point where I feel like you might even physically feel the heat when you're around this person. Now, I feel like the only reason it hasn't moved forward as of yet is I feel like there is, you know, there is a part of them that feels a little bit defensive. It almost feels like they're not giving you much to work with. You know, I, I feel like you've made a few moves, possibly, or or made your feelings known. But I feel like they haven't been really giving you much to work with. You know, it, they're not reciprocating very well. But here's where it gets tricky. I feel like this person, they feel the same way as you do. They're very interested. And they felt, you know, they felt like, you know, they feel the same way. And, and they know, you know, I, I feel like there's times when you may have, you know, really pushed it, you know, to make this go forward, you know, really made an offer. And I feel like it's not that they rejected it, but they just kind of nonchalantly passed. And I feel like the reason for that is they like the chase. They like to be chased. You know, it makes them feel... You know, you're going to find this person trying to, you know, even though they haven't really been giving you much in, in the fact of, you know, showing you much in return. It's almost like they just give you enough to keep you coming back. And you're going to find this person is going to find find reasons to be around you. You know, those feelings that you had, you're right. And when you're right, you're right. This person wants you. They've been waiting for you and they're still waiting for you. You know, this is exactly what they, you know, they've been waiting for, for someone like you for a very long time. You know, you're the person that they, they're just drawn to. Like I said, you're drawn to them and they're drawn to you. And it just, but I feel like they're, you know, they're not making it easy. You know, they want to, they want to feel wanted. They want to feel special. And the way you look at them and the way you make them feel, they feel that way. I feel like they worry a little bit. You know, there is a little bit of a, you know, they do have their walls up a little bit. I mean, it's not just them wanting you to chase you. There is a part of them that, you know, is feeling a little defeated. You know, they are a little bit worried. They have their walls up a little bit here because 
They're afraid that all it is is something physical. They're afraid that this won't last. They afraid, they're afraid if they give in that they won't feel the same anymore. You know, they want to feel special. They want to feel... They just want to be chased. And they're afraid that if they give in that all that will end. And that's their biggest fear here. Their biggest fear is if they do give in that it will change. And that, you know, possibly... Possibly that, you know, this won't go anywhere and they won't get what they want because they want to build a foundation with you. They want a future with you, but they're not sure if that's what you want from them. And I feel like that worries them. You know, they're afraid of getting their heart broken, plain and simple. You know, it's it, it's that type of feeling where um, they feel like maybe the only reason that, you, you know, and this is what they're thinking. This is not how you are. Um, I want to, I want to clarify that in their head, it's almost like if they give in and you get what you want from them, maybe that's all you want. Maybe it's just a chase for you, but they're kind of enjoying it at, at, at the same time. I mean, they're not, you know, they want you to want them, but they're afraid if they, if they tell you how much they want you back, that you won't want them anymore. You know, they're afraid of putting in a hundred percent and not getting a hundred percent. You know, with that Leo energy, they there's a lot of passion here, but I like I said, there's a lot of heat. So it's almost like they feel like it may be just a physical crush for you. And it's something more for them. There's something, you know, their idea of winning is not getting with you. It's staying with you. You know, their idea of winning, their idea of victory is moving forward with you. But I feel like they have a hard time like I said, I, I, I do feel like they're they're afraid that once they give in, that this will all go away and that feeling they won't feel wanted anymore. They won't feel, you know, people want to be pursued. Men, women, it doesn't matter. They want to be pursued. And a lot of people, a lot of people have this misconception that, you know, men should be the chasers or women you know, that's bullshit. We all want to be wanted. We do. Especially by someone we're physically attracted to. And, and like I said, with this, I feel like there's more than just a physical attraction. It's, it's brewing into more. This has been something, I, I like I said, it's something, it's some, this is someone that you've known. And this is something that's been going on for a while. I don't feel like this is something new. I feel like what I'm seeing here is if you want this to move forward, there has to be an offer made. They have to know that this means more. And I feel like once that offer is made, you're going to really truly see how this person feels about you. You know, you're going to get a lot of clarity. You're going to realize that those feelings you have for this person, you were absolutely right. Your intuition was right. There is a bit of a guardedness to them, like I said, partly because they want to be chased. And the other part is because they're afraid that if, if they give in, that they're, you know... They won't feel wanted anymore. They won't feel the same way. And a lot of people think that. And a lot of people spend a lot of time alone because of that. You know, they act hard to get. Even though they don't want to, you know, even though they want to be with you, they'll act like they're hard. You know, they act hard to get. They act like they're not interested when, when really they are. And those people end up, you know, regretting it because they, they, they put on that facade for so long, the pursuer gets tired of it. You know, they feel like, okay, well, I've been, I tried everything I could try and this person's not giving me no play. Obviously, they're not interested and they move on. What? But like I said, this person wants a future here. You know, they want something more from this and they're afraid that if they give in, they're afraid that it's all going to go away. Very guarded energy. But like I said, you know, there has to be an offer made. And once that offer is made, you're going to get what you want from this person. You're going to, you're going to get confirmation and they're going to be, you know, they're, they're going to be very open with you once they know that you want something more from this and you will get what you want from this person. I see a lot of balance. I see a lot of forward movement. 
I mean, we have that six of wands, which is all about victory. I feel like this is something that's been heading down the, you know, you've been heading down the same road for such a long time. You know, I, like I said, this is someone I feel like you, you have a, a strong connection with, but it, it, there's so much more here that we're not seeing yet. There's something bigger here. There's a bigger picture that I, I feel like neither one of you are quite seeing, but you will see. Uh, with this person, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, um, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. We have Gemini, Libra, and some Aquarius. You know, sometimes we're sometimes we're around the person we're meant to be with, and we're around them for a lot longer than we know. You know, sometimes we can be right next to that right person. And until one of us makes that, that crucial first, you know, that first move, we'll never truly know. And I feel like that's what we have here. We have a case of two people wanting more. You know, on one side, there's a little bit of fear. On the other side, it's almost, you know, kind of wondering why you're not getting no play. I mean, it, it happens every day. I mean, people that are friends forever end up being together because they finally, one of them got up the, they got up the, the courage to make the move, the real move. You know, flirting is fun and flirting, but flirting can be misconcepted. You know, there's a lot of misconceptions with flirting. Sometimes we think that people are just flirting with us because they're attracted to us in a physical sense, or they're flirting with us because that's just their personality. As a Sagittarius, I get blamed to that a lot. But I'm just... You know, I just like, I compliment people. I, 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 that's just me. I just, a lot of people will say that Sagittarius are very flirty. I mean, maybe. <laughs> but anyway, that's enough about me. Um, be good. Take care. Stay safe. And always trust your intuition. See you soon.